Ernesto Valverde arrived at FC Barcelona in the summer as coach. In his previous coaching jobs, he has lifted the Greek Super League trophy on three occasions with Olympiacos. In his native Spain, aside from winning the Spanish Super Cup with Athletic Bilbao in 2015, trophies as a coach have thus far evaded him, although he has managed to help Athletic qualify for the Europa League on four consecutive occasions. Whilst Tiki Taka thrust Barcelona to great heights under Pep Guardiola, Valverde's ideas are much more reserved and balanced. This season, he has even admitted to refraining from making substitutions during a game due to favouring how his starting eleven might compete while defending set pieces. He is very conscious of being balanced, solid, and not offering any weaknesses to his opponents. Valverde is both proactive before games and reactive during. Against Real Betis, for example, Barca employed a very high press, but they do not approach each game in the same manner. Despite being afforded far greater riches and quality at his new club, the 53-year-old has kept things safe and balanced so far. His 4-4-2 is a far cry from the 4-3-3 and 3-4-3 of the Luis Enrique era, with the predictable and direct approach of his predecessor's systems not surviving the summer. Although key forward Neymar was sold to PSG, Barcelona have weathered that storm well, maintaining an unbeaten record in La Liga into December even after an injury to Neymar's replacement, Usman Dembele. Jordi Alba and Nelson Semedo, or Sergi Roberto, offer plenty of width as attacking fullbacks while in possession, giving licence for Andreas Iniesta, Ivan Rakitic and Lionel Messi to tuck in where necessary. The combination play between the players that occupy those wider areas and their supporting fullbacks is vital to allowing Valverde's sides overloads at the bylines against stretched opposition defences. Sergio Busquets drops deep to collect the ball from Ter Stegen, and Barca's centre-backs split to allow their fullbacks to push on and take up advanced starting positions if possible. Defensively, Valverde likes for his bank of four defenders to retreat into position, with the midfield then plugging the gaps ahead in their own bank of four. In terms of pressing defensively against teams that are comfortable in possession, Barca look to press high and in numbers, with any loose touches being pressing triggers. Luis Suarez shows though that pressing isn't always the key intention for Valverde's forwards, as he instead funnels a ball-playing defender out to one side of the pitch. By applying pressure in the right way, hanging on his shoulder and shutting out the escape pass, Suarez ensures the number 5 can only look out to the left-hand side of the pitch, with the number 2 not an option. This closes the pitch into a smaller area and makes it easier for Suarez's teammates to target their energy on pressing fewer opponents aggressively. In turn, whichever opponent receives the ball from number 5 will have a player pressing them from behind, immediately forcing them to play what they can see passes into non-threatening areas of the field. At the age of 33, it's clear that Andreas Iniesta's footballing life expectancy won't stretch much longer. Under Valverde, however, his ageing legs are being usefully protected. By using the athleticism of Alba down the left wing, Iniesta can tuck in and look to either attack the box more centrally or slide passes either in between the lines or behind the opposition right-back, as well as having more time to switch the play. It gives him the freedom to be creative, as well as negating the amount of hard running or defensive work that he would be asked to do as a flat central midfielder. Paulinho was an interesting purchase for Barcelona during the summer of 2017. Having failed to set the Premier League alight with Tottenham, there wasn't much optimism with regard to what he could offer a big club. Given his physicality and stature, however, the Brazilian had a clear skill set that did not previously exist within the club's ranks. He is used as a link from midfield to the front two of Messi and Suarez, with his power aiding his runs from deep or ability to challenge for aerial or loose balls in or around the box. He has the freedom to step up, while Ivan Rakitic and Sergio Busquets cover the required central midfield space off the ball. Paulinho can play neatly off the front two, or get into the box to help challenge for deliveries from wide areas, with his height and broad physique giving Valverde's forward line a physical edge that they previously had lacked. Perhaps the key aspect of Valverde's Barca is the freedom that is given to Lionel Messi. Left to his own devices as a floating presence alongside Luis Suarez, while the Uruguayan plays as a number 9, 
Messi finds pockets of space that he wants to exploit. With Rakitic and Roberto or Semedo offering width on the right when Barca are in possession, it releases Messi to go hunting for where he can do damage, and it is precisely that liberty for the Argentine that makes Barcelona well-structured, yet infinitely unpredictable or even unstoppable in attack. Valverde's blend of balance and star quality makes them an interesting proposition for both domestic and European glory this season. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.